Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> mm. Camera's going on. Yeah. <laughs> so you came up with a theme name today, didn't you? A yes. Gift of present. The gift of present. Of the present. Yeah. So that was our invitation to everybody is just to really be present not worry about anything else just take this time together to be together mm. it's like in a way the course is like just teaching us that the part it, it's just this world is the past mm. and it can be so easy just to be reflecting on the past yeah. all the time or even going into the future. Yeah. It's like we're always, it's like a wave of the past is always coming into the present. It just feels like the past is big, the future is big, and this tiny second, it just gets dismissed completely, like the present moment. Mm. And I feel inspired about that. I feel very inspired because I can see how much of my time is spent in the past or in the future. And it's all fantasy or imaginations or just interpretations that are not necessarily true. So yeah, I guess I, I'm just feeling very inspired about that today. And you were saying also about stillness and it feels so exciting and so beautiful that I know like in the course it repeats so many times in that present moment you'll find the answer that you're looking for mm. so I just really feel inspired about that yeah it's like the stillness is the last place where we think we should go because everything seems like we're going to be fulfilled by the world or by something and yet the stillness is the place to go but it seems so why, why would I go there? There's, there's nothing there. Um, and so the ego is always rushing in to fill in that, that space mm. with something, and whether that's thoughts or uh, doing something, yeah, and rather like... than just allowing ourselves to be completely in that present. And so that's why we just felt like that was a gift, particularly at this time, mm. because often we start to reflect over what's happened in the year, what was good, what was bad, what I'd like to do in the future, and yet we just forget to be here now. And so that was our invitation, and that's our setting of our goal, is to really enter into that stillness without allowing the ego thoughts to fill the space, but allow the spirit to fill that space in our mind. Mm. You know, it's... What you were telling, saying right now reminded me of one time I, I know this friend that was having some really tough problems and he was like running out of money or whatever and he's like, but I need to do something, I need to find a way to earn money and he was so stressed out and then I remember one of her mighty companions just said like, no, God is first, like, God is first. And there was like this session that he was given as a gift and he was like, I, I just can't attend, I need to find a way to find money or something. And he, the other friend just, you need to be here now. This is the place where you'll find your answer. And it was so amazing because he, he went back like, boom, he was present and he was in that prayer he went for God first and then he heard the answer and you have no idea like how everything unfolded from there I don't know I just remember that it's so inspiring for me because I did see how everything changed when we came to this place of stillness mm -hmm. he stopped whatever all the trying to solve the problems mm -hmm in the form and he was just still yeah that's that was really really mm. beautiful for me yeah 
I want to remember that because I see myself going into trying to solve problems all the time. Mm. All the time, it's like we need to do something, solve this problem, solve the other, and we just lose. We are just lost. Mm. Mm. So I want to find the answer. Yeah, you just reminded me too. I want I once asked David. I can't I can't remember what the specific question was. I was asking for some sort of help, and it was guidance on the present moment. Mm. I was almost like the future. What What am I going to do? And um, like those fears. And he said, "Well, let's just take ten seconds at a time. Mm. Just this ten seconds, another ten seconds, and just let let it unfold." rather than trying to fill, it, fill, fill that gap. Mm. And of course, when the fear comes up, that's, that's when we want to fill um, that space and trying to find the answer inside <laughs> within the ego <laughs> to try and flatten down what we're really feeling rather than mm. letting it up. And so that's the same as the, as, as the past reflections, going over the past to, oh, I'm such a terrible person, or the same as, I'm reflecting on the good things, but let's, I'm trying to recreate it. And it's like the spirit wants to show you so much more than that. Right now, like the gift of now. Yeah. And that feels so, so beautiful because, yeah, this year I had one moment where I was like, ah, because I, I felt like this realization in my mind where, okay, so, it was, I don't know, it was something like this, like if the script is written, everything is for my good, everything that is happening, then this second is perfect the way it is. And in this second, I can find the gift that God wants to give me. If, I, if I'm like trying to find the gift in the present moment, I'll find it. Mm -hmm. And I've had that experience. Mm -hmm. And it's the most wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like a moment when you're just like in a blank slate with your hands like this, ready to receive. Like a surrender. So shall we read a prayer for everyone to join in this present? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you want to read it? Yes. Yeah? Yes. You can take a deep breath. Mm. And let these words envelop you in love and in peace. My heart is beating in the peace of God. Surrounding me is all the life that God created in His love. It calls to me in every heartbeat and in every breath, in every action and in every thought. Peace fills my heart and floods my body with the purpose of forgiveness. Now my mind is healed and all I need to save the world is given me. Each heartbeat brings me peace. Each breath infuses me with strength. I am a messenger of God, directed by His voice, sustained by Him in love and held forever quiet and at peace within His loving arms. Each heartbeat calls His name and everyone is answered by His voice, assuring me I am at home in Him.
Let me attend your answer, not my own. Father, my heart is beating in the peace the heart of love created. It is there and only there that I can be at home. nice just to join in that. There's nothing to do. Just to be here now. And you found some really nice parts in the course too, didn't you? Oh yeah, yeah. And I just like that thought of that there's nothing going wrong now <clears throat> in this moment. <clears throat> it's only when we start to drift off and problems arise. But right now, what's going on? There's nothing. There's nothing to be concerned about. And we just stay here. It's like in this moment you'll find the trust, you'll find the peace and the answer. Mm. Mm. I found this beautiful, beautiful section of chapter 15. It's about the two uses of time and it was a little of what we were talking a little earlier and I just love it. Fear is not of the present, but only of the past and future which does not exist, which does not exist. There is no fear in the present when each instant stands clear and separated from the past without its shadow reaching out into the future. Each instant is a clean, untarnished birth, in which the Son of God emerges from the past into the present, and the present extends forever. It is so beautiful and so clean and free of guilt that nothing but happiness is there. No darkness is remembered, and immortality and joy are now. This lesson takes no time, for what is time without a past and a future? It has taken time to misguide you so completely, but it takes no time at all to be what you are. Begin to practice the Holy Spirit's use of time as a teaching aid to happiness and peace. 
take this very instant now and think of it as all there is of time. Nothing can reach you here out of the past. And it is here that you are completely absolved, completely free and holy without condemnation. From this holy instant, wherein holiness was born again, you will go forth in time without fear and with no sense of change with time. exciting mm -hmm. born again in each moment and I have this prayer this for the same with my brothers I can see them anew anew every moment because he talks about that doesn't he? he says when we when we meet each other we're just seeing the past all the time we we've made a decision as to what's truthful about that person mm. but we don't actually see them in this very holy instant now so we're consistently regurgitating the past mm. no well. wonder why re the relationships start to feel uninspiring mm or whatever mm. it's because all the past is like a dark cloud in front of our eyes how can we see mm. truly mm. so yeah it's like we have this prayer for the holy instant yeah <laughs> to see everything alive now yeah the aliveness of the moment. Mm. Yeah. Without any judgment put upon it. Mm. God, that feels so much more exciting. <laughs> mm. Definitely. Yeah. Well, he's just teaching us to let it all reveal itself. There's the one part where he just says, you just look, you wait, and you judge not. Mm. And that's all you need to do. Just look, wait, judge nothing. Yeah. Yeah, because right now even like if I forget everything I think you are, mm -hmm. it's like there's nothing left but love. Mm -hmm. It's like seeing the Christ, that that's the moment when you can see Him truly. Oh yeah, I have told myself that you're this, this and this. What if that's absolutely not true? Mm, that just feels wonderful. And yet in actual fact the reflection is just coming back to see it in your own mind so you can release it to be in the present again. That what you're seeing so our only task is to really watch our mind and what we what we think we're actually seeing. Mm. So that's just our our tool for the present. Yeah. What we really believe in is happening in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not necessarily true. Mm. Yeah, that reminds me of like this has been like my prayer for almost like two months, I think, or more. But it's just so beautiful. I would like to share it with you. It is from chapter 17, but it's so, so beautiful. And I guess this is like a, a prayer that I have very deep in my heart. And it says, My holy brother, I would enter into all your relationships and step between you and your fantasies. 
Let my relationship to you be real to you. And let me bring reality to your perception of your brothers. They were not created to enable you to hurt yourself through them. They were created to create with you. This is the truth that I would interpose between you and your goal of madness. Be not separate from me. And let not the holy purpose of atonement be lost to you in dreams of vengeance. Relationships in which such dreams are cherished have excluded me. Let me enter in the name of God and bring you peace, that you may offer peace to me. Trust, trusting in the present moment is mm. um, absolutely key. Mm. It's only when we make up judgments about one another or the situation that not trusting in the present moment, not trusting one another, not trusting myself. Mm. I think that's a huge thing for me to see people as untrustworthy. And that belief stays in the mind and then that distorts the moment. But if I give in, if I let go of that, <laughs> then what really is going on? <laughs> what do you see then? <laughs> yeah, you don't see anything, then there's nothing going on. If I trust, then my mind begins to go blank, but if I want to interpret distrust, then I'm going to start to see that and manifest my, my fantasy of what I hope to see rather than what I do see. It's a practice. Yeah. It's a practice. Yeah. Because when like, we are caught in to any situation, it just feels so hard to stop mm. Mm. and really get into this prayer. Mm. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and he says you don't even have to trust in yourself, you just have to trust in me. Mm. So you can step back from all responsibility of thinking that you've got to trust or I've got to trust something. Mm. It's like, no, let me do the trusting for you. You can trust me. I just want to feel like a little girl <laughs> again. Like in my heart. And like depending on God. Mm. It's like I'm scared. Please let me see through your eyes. Or mm. I'm angry. Let me see through your eyes. Mm. And be the way that I'm looking at it. Mm. Show me the way you see it. Mm. This interpretation I'm having right now, it's very painful. Help me see this differently. Mm. 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 It's just so wonderful. Everything keeps unfolding and unfolding. Mm. Like even this show, <laughs> mm -hmm. like how many minutes, a few minutes ago before starting, I was like, I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it just happens. Mm. And I'm so grateful for these shows too, for that. Mm. It just happens. Mm. Like I wasn't worried that or nervous. Mm. I was just happy knowing that it's not of me. Mm. 
And I can feel like the peace from that, mm -hmm. like all these words that I that have been said now. It's like, oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Someone said to me once, said, oh, it's like, trust is like a bank, you, you build trust. And you keep <laughs> adding to the trust, like, oh, okay, I'm trusting more. I guess mm -hmm. that seems like what we've been doing here is trusting more. Building in the trust, developing yeah. the trust. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not of me. No. This moment isn't of me. I can be shown. I want to be open to the wonder of the present moment. See everything with new eyes. Just read a bit from um, God is the strength in which I trust. Oh, I love that. This, yes. Yes. Just so we can end together. <laughs> so if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes and join me in this prayer. Today we will try to reach past your own weakness to the source of real strength. Close your eyes and begin as usual by repeating the idea for the day. God is the strength in which I trust. And spend a minute or two in searching for situations in your life which you have invested with fear, dismissing each one by telling yourself. God is the strength in which I trust. Now try to slip past all concerns related to your own sense of inadequacy. It is obvious that any situation that causes you concern is associating with feelings of inadequacy, for otherwise you would believe that you could deal with the situation successfully. It is not by trusting yourself that you will gain confidence, but the strength of God in you is successful in all things. Try to reach down into your mind to a place of real safety. You will recognize that you have reached it if you feel a sense of deep peace, however briefly. Let go of all the trivial things that churn and bubble on the surface of your mind and reach down and below them to the kingdom of heaven. There is a place in you where there is perfect peace there is a place in you where nothing is impossible. There is a place in you where the strength of God abides. During the day, repeat the idea often. Use it as, an, as your answer to any disturbances. Remember that peace is your right because you are giving your trust to the strength of God. Wonderful. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Oh, mm. Lovely to see you. Oh, it's mm. so sweet to see you. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy the peace. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of love. Oh, lots of love. <laughs> <laughs>